Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today we paint this necromancer. I'm almost done with this huge vampire but the client requested a couple of candles so I decided to paint a small vampire for today. I paint minis and mecha. If you're into that sort of thing, do subscribe to the channel. But if you're old to the channel, let's paint the dark beast colors as usual. I like painting dark base colors because they give me like the best opacity over black primer and also you get to produce or you get to build up volume if you start with darker colors. I call them dark base colors but practically they're shadow colors. We're doing basic layering as we go towards the base color so we mix the previous dark color with the current color or the next color so that we create smooth transitions. We basically adapted the Serio Calvo process, painting process wherein he doesn't do a lot of glazing, just very minimal glazing at the end of the painting but we're basically mixing a lot of colors in the wet palette and then transfer that to the model. Also by painting darker colors first, on top of the black primer, you'll find it a lot easier than painting your base colors on top of black. I almost always say this in my videos, you don't need to have a lots of colors to produce really great or good miniature but you should be mixing a lot of colors not necessarily a lot of paints but lots of colors you mix them well in the wet palette so that it transfers very nicely on the model the paints that i use for the initial base colors or the dark base colors are usually the most opaque paints that I have. There are a few others but these are like my favorites because this is a commission work so I tend to like try to be more efficient in terms of painting a model if it's a commission work. As much as I want to say paint thin coats on the base, I tend to like paint the base with thick coats. I just want it to get over with. Now we get the colors for my fab element of any miniature model. Let's paint skulls. I always, I almost, always start with medium gray. It's a very opaque color, but I leave the black areas black, like the eyes, the nostrils, and in between the teeth and stuff like that but I start with medium gray and then I go up lighter with stone gray and then eventually highlight with deck tan so that's basically my recipe for painting skulls now let's start with cavalry brown a very opaque red brown color I use this for painting the pouch the leather pouch and the book now we mix orange brown to create more volume as we go lighter and then eventually once we've painted the orange brown cavalry brown mixture we'll be painting orange brown Now this part is sort of an experiment. I'm kind of bored by painting cavalry brown over chalice red. So I mix royal purple with cavalry brown and I produce a very fleshy dark red purple color which is super nice. Now we paint royal purple as sort of a shadow color for the cloak. 
it gives a nice variation to the reddish purple cloak and the royal purple it's a very nice mix in terms of making the cloak more complex looking than usual now we use dark blue pill i've said this before i like this color so much because it's dark it's blue and it's pale <laughs> now we use cold flesh i really highly recommend the nocturna sets if these paints were released like a bit later this would have been called grim dark sets but then again that will be copyrighted or something <laughs> but the point is they're very grim dark ish i really love the color it's it's the the colors are vibrant yet very pale and grimdark in a in a way so i really highly recommend these sets now we mix a bit of ivory to add more like highlights to the pale blue skin i failed to mention at the start of the video that basically the objective of this painting is to create high contrast but pale skin painting It's been a while since I've done a lazy wash. <laughs> a lazy wash is when you do a wash all over the model and that hope that the model will come out really nice afterwards. No, kidding aside, this is the best way or the most efficient way to blend all of the colors together. Basically, this is called filtering in scale modeling. Now we apply the purple sepia wash. It's inks basically. It's very nice because it won't fog or cloud the darker crevices. So we just apply it all over the model. But I made a mistake. I forgot to paint the ropes that or the straps that held the skulls. I also forgot to put the like the mud splashes over the cloak so we have to paint those first before we resume doing the washes the great thing about using inks as washes is that they will never cloud dark crevices because if you apply washes like a blue wash a lighter wash over dark areas or dark crevices those will cloud or fog and it looks nasty however inks are shiny after a nice coat of mecha matte varnish the inks are now matte again so it's a matter of repainting our base colors and then moving up or moving lighter to lighter colors so the filtering is a bit of like a hassle if you think of it but then again it blends everything together and then it makes everything darker which means if you paint lighter colors on top of it you create more contrast and you create more volume now it's a matter of mixing wolf gray ivory sunny skin tone and using white glaze tan glaze and brown glaze to like further improve the contrast of the miniature and build more highlights if you've been subscribed to the channel you'll notice that i tend to paint more highlights near the face because i want the face to be the main focus of the model and then i tend to paint less and less highlights as i go away from the face I'm not sure if I showed it well but I did the final highlights of the skin with white glaze similar to the painting of the rat prints in my earlier video. I hope I was able to show you that basic layering and then a bit of filtering in the middle and more basic layering for the highlights we were able to produce like a really good model with just those basic stuff. No wet blending, 
no oils, no glazing, and yet we have a nice model in just around four hours. So I hope you like the video. It's a very straightforward like painting of a vampire. It's a grim dark-ish vampire with just acrylic paints. That's it. We're done. I hope you like the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!